won't even let her go evil, bro, because she too OP. That would that would be an unfair fight. She have to be fighting boss level people at that point with the power she have, bro. Not only does she have the power of Hawk, she have everybody blood in her, bro. Like she's like insane, bro. Right, y'all. So as we know, man, uh, Marvel just dropped Secret Invasion, man, and I just wanted to just get right into it, man. Y'all new to the video, new to the channel, but it's y'all first time seeing me, man. Make sure I hit that like and that subscribe button, man, for more Marvel content, more trailer reactions and everything Marvel, man. Make sure I hit that subscribe button if you're a Marvel fan, bro. But we want to jump. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and jump right into it, man. Uh, as y'all see, as this picture I got up here, man, this is Rhodey back in Silver War, bro, right? So, as y'all know, in the new... uh. The new show that just came out, Secret Evasion, bro, uh, on episode six, man, we seen Rhodey um, basically, like, locked up um, where the squirrels was at. And he has the same outfit on that he had on back in Civil War. So the reason why I'm saying this, y'all, if he has the same outfit on as Secret War, that means that it's about to get crazy in the MCU. Like, a lot of people was mad at this, but I feel like, a lot of people, let me tell y'all why everybody was mad about uh, Secret Evasion. Everybody was mad about Secret Evasion because we didn't get how it was in the comic books we're seeing the Skrulls fight the Avengers. People not understanding a bigger picture with this movie that it's about to un unfold a lot. We have random people can kill random people because they think they Skrulls in the, in, the, in the MCU now. That's going to star a lot of commotion. Like, it's a lot of people dying and, you know, like, Skrulls, like, I don't know. It's just getting crazy, man. And it's about to get crazy for Rhodey too, bro, because now that y'all know that he got, you know, kidnapped or abducted back in Civil War, y'all. So that means that he don't know that Iron Man is dead, yet. Like, this is crazy. Like, he don't know that Iron Man is dead, y'all. He don't know that if he, that, that means he, he did not even fight in the Thanos. He don't even know that Black Widow's gone. He don't know that Cap's gone. Like, bro, it, it's finna be a crazy outbreaking, bro. It's about to be a crazy outbreaking for this, bro. I would not be mad. I would not be mad, y'all, if she's featured in the Marvels, bro. I wouldn't be mad. I wouldn't be mad if this causes a problem and it entangles, since she have Captain Marvel blood, it entangles her powers with the other Marvel powers. I would not I would not be surprised if they show that in the Marvels, bro. I would not be surprised. Because we know that this movie is happening right when this this show, when Secret Invasion is going on, Nick Fury is going right up to the ship, a saber, and then that's where the Marvels is coming along. I would not be a problem if her powers got somehow entangled in the Marvels, but they not showing it in the trailer, or maybe she, maybe she come and help, or I don't know, bro, but she's she OP, bro. She's OP. Y'all, I want to touch up on Gaia, bro. Y'all, Gaia is 100% the strongest person in the MCU. She literally has every one powers, I believe, except, uh, of course, Wanda Maximoff, the Scarlet Witch. But she has every one powers in the MCU, y'all. It's going to be so crazy because I some part of me think, bro, that she's going to be featured in the Marvels, bro. If not, I doubt that she'd be fully in the movie because the movie is not about her. But I would not be, like... You know, surprised if she was featured in the Marvels, man. But as y'all see from this picture, man, that I got up here on the screen, bro, Gaia and Monica Rambo as children, bro. That it'll be a crazy combination to see Gaia back with Monica Rambo and Miss Marvel and Captain Marvel, bro. That would be super crazy. And now her being the most powerful person in the MCU at the moment. Probably well, I'm gonna say superhero, bro, because I can't I can't really let us know like about Kang, even though he's yeah, he's a hero, but he's not a superhero, he's a villain. But Kang is pretty OP, but it's going to be crazy to see her, you know, up and coming in the next movie, man. And I, I don't know. I like it, bro. I really like the fact that we have another uh, character that's a real character. Y'all like, it's a real character from the comic book of Super Scroll. But I ain't going to lie, y'all. She's a little bit more OP than the the Super Scroll from the comic books, y'all. Like, I believe the Super Scroll from the comic books only had uh, the Fantastic Four powers. But... This character right here have multiple powers from people in the comic book. So not only Captain America, maybe his running speed and how, because we did see her run at, um, at uh, graphic like that. So it's going to be crazy to see, man. I'm excited to see that, like how, how like the next movie that she play in, bro. Like, I don't know, man. I don't know, man. But I'm pretty sure, uh, Iron, not Ironheart, but, um, 
Brave New World, bro, might be featured another score product, y'all. Like, I feel like the score is going to be the next villains of the MCU until we get to the big, of course, Kang as the villain. But you know basically how, like, on the old, I ain't going to say the old, but the last, um, like, the first Avengers movie, it was Ultron. But really, the whole time, it was Kang behind, like, the next big, big villain. So I think our quick villain is going to be the Skrulls. Um, I still think they're going to take the route of, you know, like, Eve, like, Skrulls portraying to be the Avengers. I hope, hopefully they still take that route, but everybody's still mad about the fact that this show didn't end like that, but they're not seeing the bigger picture of how everything's going to change for the MCU, how a lot of people have to be more careful and watching out, and then Rhodey not knowing that Iron Man is dead, he not, he didn't fight in the battle of, uh, you know, the battle that was in Wakanda with Thanos, he didn't, Witness any of this. He didn't witness any of this, bro. So this is it's gonna be it's gonna be so crazy, bro. It's gonna be sick, man. I can't wait to see how Marvel's gonna put all this on the platter. But y'all know, man, Marvel always do they big one with the shows, man. But I'm just excited to see what they gonna do next. So we pretty sure though that he's been gone after Black Panther. Not that long, right? Because we we, we for sure see him in Black Panther. A hundred percent. So it really depends on where did where was Black Panther like at in the MCU like in his timeline was was that right when he got kidnapped uh well I ain't gonna say he got kidnapped but right when he got picked out of I mean but how would that work though because how I'm looking at it right y'all if if he got took in at the end of Black Panther right only how it'll work if they been had his body right here and it was using him as if the one that Black Panther and them people took the Wakandians, they might have took a scroll, or the lady that played Black Panther was a scroll. So I'm saying, I don't know, bro. How long have you been in here? You don't well, even know. Hold on, I know y'all tired of me pausing y'all, but I, he he probably no. Y'all think they know when they like like the last thing that was going on before they got, you know. Okay. All right, y'all, man. Y'all comment down below, man. Let me know what y'all think about this, man. How do y'all feel about Gaia getting all the uh, MCU character powers, bro? Um, I I like it, bro. I feel like it's good that we have another OP character in the MCU, bro. I'm just I'm gonna tell y'all my thing though. I'm I I would like for her to not get Captain Marvel powers, y'all. The reason why, bro, I feel like we have a lot of characters around the same powers as Captain Marvel. I would have liked it if she got everybody powers except for Captain Marvel, bro. Like, I think I would like her to have... I like how she did the Mantis upside down thing, bro. Did y'all see that in the show, bro? When they was flowing down, bro. And then she did the, the Mantis and put him to sleep, bro. And then he had the Ebony Maw powers. It was, it was dope, bro. But it's kind of... That's a little bit too OP in, in my, like, my opinion. Like, I look at that like, bro, we should not lose no fight with her on our side, y'all. We should not lose no fight. With Gaia on our side, bro, with the power that she have, bro. W show, though, in my opinion, bro. I love it, bro. I was hoping that we was going to see Hawkland, bro. If y'all already came out, y'all probably was already thinking, like, you know, trends 10 that we getting Hawkland. Like, count trends and we getting Hawkland. So, they probably, y'all probably ran with it, man. Really was liking the videos of me teasing that and hoping that that's what we get. But we got something better than Hawkland, bro, for the, for the new Avengers, hopefully. Gaia, man, with the power of all the Avengers, bro. That's a W to me, W power, man. But we also know that this is happening right before Secret of Asia is born for the Marvel show. So now after the Mar after Secret of Asia, bro, we're going to see the Marvels with him going up to Saber, man. It's going to be a W, bro. Can't wait to see the Marvels. I'm excited to see that too, bro. It was a big twist. Nobody expected this, but I kind of I kind of figured that. He was going to get Gaia the powers, though. But I didn't know it was going to be every Avenger. I thought she was just going to be like, um, I, I promise y'all I had this vision in my head. I literally, as soon as he went to that tombstone, blew on that tombstone, grabbed that thing, and went back, I knew that Gaia was going to be the one to grab him and get them powers. I knew it. But I didn't know that both of them was going to get it. It was going to be an all-out brawl. That was kind of crazy, bro. That both of them got the, got the powers. It was really steep because what if she would have lost that gun fight, bro? Not, I'm talking about a uh, fight, but I wish he would have lost that fight, that 1v1 fight against Gravik, and Gravik really got the the upper hand in that fight, bro. That that would have been crazy. 
a crazy twist for the MCU, man. We know the MCU is good for doing twists and letting the villains win, as you can see uh, from Infinity War. But I'm, I'm, I'm happy that it happened the way it happened, man. Comment down below and let me know what y'all think. Uh, he might have been a scroll throughout after uh, Secret War, bro. He had to be. He had to be. He had to be, yeah. He had to be a scroll throughout uh, uh, Super War. I don't know, bro. I can't really call it, bro, because you, I don't know. Like, you really don't know how long they've been gone. Like, you really can't tell. But this was a W show, man. W show, bro. Marvel go crazy every time. Uh, um, what? Y'all watching the video, man. I have, appreciate everybody, man. If y'all stay to the end, man. Make sure y'all like and subscribe, bro. If y'all want to catch up on more Marvel content that I do, bro. I'm going to start reacting to more Marvel stuff. I already react to all the Marvel things. I just react to the trailers of everything. I usually don't go through and rewatch and watch everything and call out everything. But if y'all like me going through and, you know, um, like talking about what I can talk about about the shows, um, Hit that subscribe button, man. Hit that like button, man. We're going to do this a lot more. Um, catch y'all in the next video. Let's go. Motor.